of the ball and the middle of the hoop leg are in line with hoop six. Right. That makes an angle of about 60 degrees or more around from the centre of the hoop if you move the ball around the hoop leg. Right. We've placed a marker, a white marker, in the line of the V between the ball and the hoop leg. That is at right angles to the line going to hoop six, so that we can tell whether the ball is being hit into the hoop leg or away from it. If the mallet head is facing inside this marker, the stroke will be a fault because the ball will not be hit away from the hoop leg. If the mallet head is facing, pointing outside that marker, the, the ball will be hit away from the hoop leg and it will not be a fault, at least for that reason. How do you position the angle of this marker, John, in relation to the now the non-playing end of this hoop? Is it at an angle of 45 or how do you set that? No, up? it's at, line, right, is it? at right angles to the line yes. of the centre of the hoop leg and the centre of the ball. Right. Which is aiming at hoop six. So that's aiming at hoop six and basically the, and yeah. the right angle to that is your marker. I'm with you. The, the mallet there is pointing toward hoop six in that same line. Excellent, okay. And the marker will be in that line too. All right. Well, let's play it. Let's just start the slow motion camera and let's... I'll tell you whenever I'm ready and you can go in, ahead. In playing the stroke, I swing the mallet down and backwards to just clip the back of the ball very high up on the edge of the mallet face. Right. Okay, I'm ready when you are. I kneel down. I have the mallet head directly in my line of sight, in front of my sighting eye, right. which is a rather awkward arm position. Right. Kneel down and I make sure that the mallet head is pointing outside that marker. Now I'm going to swing down, swing down and back like that, but just clipping the ball as I come. Then, we ready? Ready, John. Should we do it again? That is shot one. Line it up the same way. Ready. Catch the ball right on the top of that mallet edge, just near the edge. Shot two. Notice that the ball jumps each time. Yes. That indicates that there was no double hit. Right. Ready? There's clearly no lawn damage. John, can I? <laughs> Can you stop the videos and check the mm. feed? To the near hoop leg, make it go across and jiggle in the hoop and probably stay long enough for the mallet to hit the ball again. Deliberate error one. Okay, John. This time I will hit too steeply down on the ball, so the mallet will possibly jump or bounce on the top of the ball, double hitting it, right. and doesn't go through the hoop. Right. Properly that time. So that's error number two. Okay. This time I will try to hit the ball with the beveled edge. Error three, and each time the ball's not jumped and not gone not, through the hoop. That, that's right. 